Hello all. This is Professor Isaac Paul here, and I am here today. We are going to have our first lecture that is traditional design methods. Now in machine design, we are going to learn different types of designing methods and all these things. But first, we are going to think about what are the design methods. Now, what is traditional design? Traditional design is doing a design which is being used from tradition to tradition. That is from the ancestors also. So the first one is what the craft evolution. There are two parts. First one is craft evolution, and second is the design by drawings. Now, craft evolution and design by drawing both are different. But craft evolutions are what which our ancestors are using. Let's see. This bullock cart. There is no design present for bullock cart. How much will be the diameter of wheel? How much load it can bear? And how much number of buffaloes or you can say the bulls required for dragging this weight? There is no calculation for it. It depends purely on the animal power. Now the axes and even the arrow bow, then the sword. All these weapons were made with the help of craft evolution. The skilled workers know how to manufacture it, and they only know that what metal we should prepare. They don't know how they are going to prepare the metal, but they know what process make a metal harder and sharper. Then the musical instrument. This instrument doesn't have any type of designing methods available, so that only based on the skill of a worker that how it is to be made then the furniture also this was the oldest time where no designing methods are present in all this but now the designing methods are present which we know as the design by method was before that we are going to study some silent features of the craft evolution that craftsmen do not prepare dimension drawing as i told you it's a trial and error method this is important part that they only try that if it is made it is good if it is not then it is not good they uh, when design is not available what is the drawback we can't change the design we can't change it we don't have anything to change only skill workers can think on it and they can change something otherwise we have to prepare the new one then we don't have the essential information like which material they have used what dimension they have prepared what manufacturing they have done we don't know anything. The sequence of assembling the product and all these things don't have any other information regarding this. So this is the craft evolution methods. That's why this method is absolute right now. Now the latest that is the design by drawing. Drawing is the language of an engineer and we engineers are using this language here. So complete manufacturing of the product will be divided into small small parts that we call at the details. Here we have written that is separate pieces okay then the product is to be developed by trial and error so only one product is in prepared and based on that a design is being set finalized that okay by this trial we get these types of error and this error can be eliminated by these types of things so by this we can manufacture a product and this make a design more and more reliable thank you very much